He needs my help. Are you going to help him? Yes. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Good for you, Marty. <laughs> yeah. Hello there, there. I'm Robert. and I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party on to episode seven of True Detective season one. Rust and Marty are going for a beer, and I yes. am super excited to see where we're going from here. True, because it's been what, like 10 years since they've seen each other, and they did not leave on the best of terms. So it'll be interesting to see what, uh, how long, you know, like the, if they have any animosity towards each other. I feel like Rust does not um but it'll be interesting to see how marty takes it but if you want to watch our reaction to the entire season i guess we only have two episodes left so the finale as well you can check out our patreon as well as the member section on our youtube channel yes and if you've not subscribed make sure you subscribe you click the bell so you could get a notification whenever we drop anything on the channel like this show yeah we got other shows too plenty plenty to watch at late to the party but let's get into episode seven of true detective now <laughs> the bromance is <laughs> coming together yeah healing why are we here let's get to it we can't trust them and i mean they go cover something like that up who knows what else they've covered up. yeah see but he also sounds crazy true man remembers his debts we gotta fix it there you go. Bring him in. Shit, man. What did you alienate every other person in your life? And then finally you came back to me in the rotation. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to help me. Why would I? You got some storage shed that you won't let him look at. That's right. Show him. The only way for you to understand what I'm on to here is for me to show you. There you go. You got to come see what I got. Yep. See? That's going to convince him right away, I bet. If you were drowning, I'd throw you a fucking barbell. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Would I ever help you? Yeah, yeah, he's done. Because you have a debt. You're a true detective. Yeah. What's that mean? I have a debt, huh? This is the way shit went down in 95. This is on YouTube, buddy. What do you got to show me? Here we go. Finally get to see what the hell he's been working on. Yeah, what's in that storage? He takes him there. He ends up popping one off. He's don't like, all right. Know. I'm just kidding. I know he won't do it. We don't know It's that. just a scenario that it's could HBO. happen. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Cover all your bases. It's okay to be cautious. I hope that's all it is. Being cautious. Yeah, I mean, you crazy? <laughs> this dude is getting pegged for the murderer. Or the mastermind. You're not going to follow him into a dark garage. What you packing? (laughs) 38. Hollow point? Yeah. I'll do it. (laughs) Never be too careful. I'll take in from areas within a 10-mile radius of schools that were funded by Tettle's Wellspring Initiative. There's twice as many along the bayous. I don't know why. Hell, someone should do a study. Now you're just throwing up stats. (laughs) (laughs) He wished he had the stats. Yeah. Tuttle recognized the scene. That's why he came down there, Jiminy Quick, with a fucking task force. Why are you asking me about that place? We go to sleep. Only sometimes I didn't feel like I was asleep. I felt like I was still awake, but I must have been asleep because I couldn't move. Oh, no. It drugged him. Taking pictures. Other things. Uh. Who were they? They had animal faces. Like Mm. Squid Game. You ever see these men's faces? Just one. He had bad scars all around his mouth, like the bottom half got all burned up. The giant. The giant with the scars. I thought that man, it was a dream, too. That sucks. Going through that, oof. Girl comes forward and says she was chased through the woods by a spaghetti monster with a green ear. I don't know who he is. I don't know where he is. I don't know where this whole thing fucking starts. But it ends with him. Damn. So a spaghetti monster. He really doesn't have a path to execute, though. <laughs> he just knows that it's him. Right. I think our man had a real good time after the hurricane. Chaos. People missing, people gone. Yep. Perfect time to do it. I need case files. I need missing persons. I need homicides. I need title transfers, auto, and home. He needs you. He needs your help. 
They're joining forces. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a fucking family thing. That's what I mean when I talk about the sprawl, Marty. You have some compelling stuff here, and you might have something. Do you know how fucking crazy that sounds? You know, like you maybe told yourself this story and kept drinking until you believed it. I mean, that Marty, could happen too. Yeah, but it's what that's what Marty's been telling him the entire time. Mm. But he ain't crazy. It's really happening. <laughs> yeah. What happened to Billy Lee Duddle? There's something you're gonna have to look at. No other way around it. Ooh. Maybe that will convince him when he like looks into it. I want to ask you about those cops. They just wanted to know about you and Rust, but they think Rust did something. He didn't. I didn't think he did. Yep. They're with him. Yeah. How is he? Different. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? He needs my help. Are you going to help him? Yes. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Good for you, Marty. Yeah. I have to. It's a compulsion. I took some convincing. I feel like it was both of you. Like, it was both Russ and Maggie that convinced him. Yeah. Like, just her trust in Russ, like, helped him validate his trust in Russ, too. I think, yeah, maybe that was, like, him going and seeing her to see what she was thought. saying and thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I staked his places out for weeks. I was aware that I might have lost my mind. It was a nice effect. Yeah. What's the point of having a safe if you're not going to cover it? <laughs> Found those in the safe there. God damn it. These. Uh oh. Uh, Feeling bad if you don't know what you're looking at. Oh no. What the fuck? There's a videotape. Oh shit. And the fact that you broke in there, you can't use this evidence, but it does give you evidence to know that you to need find to stop more. them. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to need hey, that. Fuck. He's so protective of children. Yeah. So, like, this is going to set him off. With the Jesus Christ will save you flyer in the shot. Oh, no. Is she crying? Oh. No! Yeah! And they kept the video, too. Fuck! It's been going on. Yeah. You still have time to stop it. Oh, fuck. Oh. I won't avert my eyes. Not again. Yeah, he's paying attention to everything. Yeah. That little girl's Marie Fon, no. She killed Tuttle. No. I think some people took him out after they found out what was taken from the safe before he had a chance to. Oh. Uh, how are they going to hunt everyone down in, like, two episodes, though? You shouldn't have that. That's, yeah, that is incredibly damning evidence against you if they come it. Nobody should have this. They'll That's pin true. it on you. That's true because nobody, op like, they don't have, they have the masks. masks on, so they could assume that one of them is you. Thank you for everything. Did you come here to say goodbye? Just in case. Yeah. Thank you, Maggie. I yeah, mean, I think so. It's not going to be a bunch of people coming in and out of this place, is it? Well, so he's got his own PI. Oh, business. yeah. How you been? <clears throat> you know, besides work. Oh, sorry, I just, I don't ever remember you asking me a personal question. <laughs> Fish? Girlfriends? You seen anybody? Friends? Yeah. Not really. Quiet life. I don't stay Looking out late. Love? I just, I go home. Oh, yeah. He, he's not a big player anymore. Yeah. Too old for that shit now. You had a good life. You had a he good did. life. Both of them pretty much lived the same secluded life. Yeah. But Russ's life was pretty secluded for a good portion of it already. That's true. He's kind of used to it. But that girl you were seeing in O2, whatever happened there? She, uh, she had problems. <laughs> you always liked him crazy. <laughs> <laughs> true crime. And that's the genre, not the title. You serious? Yeah. Do you your know. own podcast. True crime podcast. <laughs> I mean, that's how he's trying to get the information, too. Making mm -hmm. them think, oh, I'm contributing to a podcast. Yeah. Look at him dazzling him. I guess I do. Buttering him up. 
Well, business gotten so bad, you gotta become a writer? So, writer. <laughs> of course, man, whatever you need. <sighs> Got it. You're in. Appreciate it, Bobby. No problem. Yeah, because you don't seem threatening. Right. So it's like, sure, yeah, go ahead. You're gonna have to sort through the files. Oof. Old school. Oof. He's like, well, I know that game. That's Russ's game, usually. Yeah. Oof. Ooh, never. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> They're all like, we don't care about this. We'll just put it in here. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Nice spot. <laughs> Bob had a little boy. Been missing since 85. Damn. Sorry. Get a little coalition of people willing to support you? Yeah. Any relation? Some of the dudes around I never had to worry Look about. Look at him getting all fancy in, them, in that outfit. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the ponytail. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything you remember that you can tell us about these guys? Just they were nuts. Any chance you ever saw a third man with them? Uh, man who had a bunch of scars. Uh-oh. It's weird you say that. Why? His face underneath his nose and cheeks. Scarred. Gave me funny looks all night. Every time I glanced at him. <sighs> Burned in his brain, he yeah. remembered him. You uh, ever see him again? Never again. I'd remember. He's just a monster in his dreams. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you have the nightmares a over and over. A phantom with scars. Yeah. The spaghetti monster. <laughs> yeah, the spaghetti monster. Where'd this woman come from? Tax records. Drew a paycheck from Tuttle's father. Look at you. Hmm. High praise from a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's still a detective at heart. Yeah. He recognizes his game. Right. He stepped it up, Marty. You think she might get some money out this? Uh, quite possible. Depends on what we find out. You worked for Mr. Sam Tuttle 19 years, right? Mm hmm. So you knew his son, Billy Lee, right? Mm hmm. Oh, all sorts of brothers, cousins, kids just running around. What about the man with the scars? You remember one that maybe had scars all across the bottom of his face? I think that was Mr. Sam's grandchild. His daddy did that to him, that poor boy. A, a children's, a, what if he was a little boy, a children's. From Mr. Sam's other family. I shouldn't be talking to you about this. She got it wrapped up in the conversation. Yeah. Could you have a look at something for me? Well, one thing. Just have a look. See if you recognize it. Yep. How do you know it? You know Kakasa? Him. Each time. Death is not the end. Kakasa. <laughs> oh, no. It's a crazy shit she going had, on back in probably, the day. Yeah. Oh, man. They're all brainwashed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the rest of the family, they don't really talk to Auntie. She never had any kind of good life, but most days she can't even make sense. Yeah, she sure made sense to me. It doesn't make sense to her or to the family, but the things that they're going through make sense. Gotta be in the know. She's probably traumatized from years and years of service. Yeah. To Tuttle. Sheriff signed off on the report made an error. But he didn't take the original complaint on her. A name? Steve Geraci. If it got covered up, Steve might know something. Going after the cops now. He's sheriff of Iberia Parish. Shit. Dang. Damn. Yeah. Well, we ain't looking to arrest him, Marty. Kill him? Just have a little chat. <laughs> we got a car battery and two jumper cables argue different. Ooh. <laughs> it's gonna go all taken on him. Well, fuck, why don't you talk to him? Well, what can I say? I'm a people person. <laughs> Start with that then. <laughs> I love that he still kind of has like his notebook still. I love that they have their back and forth. Like everything is the same, but just years later. Yeah. Hey, you know, on the phone, you were saying something about that Fontenot girl. Yeah. Why's that on your radar? Extended family wants to locate. And you talked to the family directly back then? No. Ted Childress. Rise. Now watch this. Now watch this drive. That music. And it's like so ominous to you. Just like, what's going on, you know? You let him know, I'd be happy to talk to him. Of course you would. Let's do it again sometime. Yeah, I'd like that. Oh, you gotta be careful because if it's on his radar now, he's thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. Hey. 
You better get those jumper cables ready. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you straight up lied to you. Yeah. So you got to get to him first. Oh, shit. Who we got here coming up? Is that Maggie? Uh, yeah. Oh, it is Maggie. Yep. I like that like, what do you want? I like that they're still tying her into it, though. Yeah. You know? It's good to see you. Bullshit. <laughs> Just tell me it's something that's not going to get him hurt. Well, I can't tell you that. Get on out of here. Your class going to blaze up. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you quit, Marty? Yeah, he so hasn't told us. Really? I saw something. Baby. Tweaker. Tried to dry the kid in a microwave. No! <laughs> never again. That stuff can mess with you. I thought, I, I, I never want to look at anything like that anymore. Yeah. yeah. Broke him. He reached his limit. We're doing it on the boat? Yeah, because if he escapes, he just got to... Oh, you trick him with a fishing trip. Yeah. That's how you get him on the boat, and then yeah. you do it on the boat. It's clever. Here we go. You knew for a fact she went with her daddy, or somebody told you that that's what happened? Starting to think this wasn't just a friendly invitation from an old pal. It, it's definitely that. For now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> Play your cards right. And don't ask again. Uh-oh. He's going to ask even harder now. I ain't going to ask you. Here we go. What are you going to do? He is. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I feel like this is like the first time they're truly confronting somebody about yeah. this. Don't look at me. I ain't never been able to control him. <laughs> Come on. They're going to blackmail you so hard that you'll end up killing yourself. That church Cole talked about is supposed to be right here. I ain't seen nothing that even resembles no church. All right, well, you mm -hmm. nobody out here to even ask no one is. <laughs> I love that we're following them now. Yeah. And I genuinely think they are... Probably good detectives, too. They're just following the wrong narrative. Yeah, I agree, 100%. And if they can, like, convince them that there's something bigger going on and they can all join forces together, ah, it would be good. That place shut down. Oh, five, I think, just after all them hurricanes. Is that the same guy? You live around here? No, sir. Oh, you're right. From the, the school? Yeah. Thanks. Ah! Hey, you maybe know how to get he to 49 from here? Sure. Seven miles of fields, you'll hit 49 before Crowley. I know the whole coast. My family. Thanks. No! Is it? You got it? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Damn. Oh, he was the one oh, with shit. the scars! We just it's couldn't see. My family's see it. been here a long, long time. Oh, my shit. God, no! They made it so you couldn't see because of the sun. That was so beautiful how they revealed that. Yeah. Did he have scars back when he was doing the lawn at the school? Shit, we gotta go back I now know. and watch. I think he was. I called him out too. Yeah. I was like, I'm putting him in my head too. <laughs> he but did, shit. he did. We see the boat. They're so close. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Man, if he's a groundskeeper too of like cemeteries, like they just dispose of the bodies, no problem. Yeah. They got a hell of a racket going on. We're so close. <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> One more episode, and damn, man, like, the fact that they pull the gun on a sheriff, at one of the corrupt, one of the, just one of the many uh, that are corrupt, helping this debauchery take place. Uh, like, we're in it now. Like, they, they either let him go and they're screwed or they blackmail him to the point where he can't say anything because he'll be implicated or they're, they're going to kill him. Straight up kill him so he can't say anything. It, it, it's very possible that it's going to either be that they're going to have to yeah, dispose of him um, or something will be an accident or something. Kill himself. You know, it, no, not necessarily kill himself, but it's very possible that in the story they'll have it go to where he escapes and like jumps and then they can't find like something. Oh, you're will making happen. it all intricate. <laughs> <laughs> 
caught in the blades. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And you're like, well, that took no, care of that. No, just get caught in the in the the <laughs> foliage that's in the water. Or an alligator grabs you, him, or right? the alligator he jumps in the water and it just and chops him right out of the water. You can't, you know, <laughs> swim and then you drown because you get exhausted. So I love seeing Marty and I love seeing Russ back together. I like that Maggie has an amicable relationship, although Russ, is, Russ isn't having any yeah, of it. No, he's but not. I love that she's got like an amicable relationship now with Marty uh, and Marty doing what needs to be done, doing the job, completing the job mm -hmm. that has been left open for such a long time. And ah, oh, then one more episode left and it freaks me out. I don't know how it's all going to shake know. out once we get there, but Guys, what did you think of this episode of True Detective? Uh, did you know it was the groundskeeper? We don't even know if it's the groundskeeper, but I mean, the dude's all scarred up. So it's but it's very be him. possible the way that he was facing when he was talking to Rust that it was we on this and it. we didn't see it. Yeah, it's very possible. But we got to go back. I know. Roll the tape. <laughs> <laughs> but what did you guys think of this episode? Again, let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kick into the party, fuel the party, keep the party going on our patreon where you can watch our reaction to the finale already available there but thanks so much and as always now it's time to say goodbye and this party is over bye bye